inside our computer. Hello Mike, where are you? Smile, thank you. Now, Mike's very kindly taken the case, the cover off uh, one of the cases here he's got in his workshop. It's come to the doctors to be repaired and you can see inside to me it's just it's a tangle of wires and bits. <laughs> Mike will just give us a little tour through a computer and some of the main parts. What have you got in your hand there, Mike? Okay. Here we have a CPU. Yep. This is the bit that does all the work inside your computer. All information flows inside and out of this chip to other parts of the computer. Amazing. With multiple little pins. So this is the bit that changes the ones and the zeros to something intelligent to us, yeah? Yeah, that we understand. Okay, that we understand. All inside that little thing. Yep. <gasps> and of course, heat gets very hot. So this little tiny device requires a big heat sink. Good heavens. That size for that little critter there, all yep. right? That basically glues onto the heat sink. Yes. And the heat sink is, and the cooling fan is what you see inside the computer system. Ah, so that's it there. Okay. And that cools down that... Yep, all that, all that, that has area. to do is keep that cool. That little fellow cool. Okay. And of course, if, you're, if your fan blades get um, clogged up with dust or heat, dirt, um, or seize up because the bearings go, then of course that overheats and then it starts deleting data and emails and friendly pictures. Okay, so some of the cause of our trouble might just be a bit of dust in our in our fan. Yep. And uh, clean, good clean out. It's a good cure for a lot of things actually. <laughs> clean out. <laughs> might fix it. Okay. So we have a CPU and yes. a cooling fan. Yes. On the sides here we have some memory. And I there's might just one have to go in there a bit better, sorry. Ah oh, yes. I'll put a little one little finger, here we are. <laughs> Leave it bigger. Oh, sorry. Ah. Ah, oh, perfect. And this computer has the ability to add more memory to it in the extra sockets. I see. So you can go from one gig to two gig to three gig. So when people say, okay, you just need some more memory, they can just slot yep. some pieces into this. Quite simple and straightforward. Yep. And don't you know pay that. hundreds of dollars to replace memory because you just... Move the two tabs and take the memory out. Oh and that's okay. just and that's how complicated memory replacement is. Wow. And you just upgrade that to bigger size. Yep. Gee, and pop a new one in. And yeah, we can put three in this computer. Fantastic. Excellent. And now down the bottom here we have expansion slots. So if you'd like to put a TV card in or a special scanner. Okay. Other devices, these are universal PCI slots that you can plug into the computer to expand the capabilities. Okay. The green socket up there is a dedicated video card socket. Sorry, so I didn't see that. Where was that? The green socket here. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, it's a dedicated socket that only takes video cards. Okay. And this, of course, is a video card with its own heatsink. It's easy when you know what you're looking at, Mike. <laughs> yes. And pretty much the video cable just plugs into that. Oh, yes. Okay, and it's got its own special socket to be computed. Oh, and that's the other, the other side of it where it connects to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Ah, now, we've had a look at this on our uh, Outside the Box series with all the different plugs and where they what piece of equipment plugs into what size socket? Yep. Okay, good O. Back we come. Now mm. we need to know about the hard drive. Uh, hard drive. The hard drive. Where all your data sits. Now m most people know as C drive in the computer. All so your pictures and letters and. All your data is stored on this device. Okay. And that's a hard drive. That is a hard drive. Yep. And basically that just sits inside the computer here. Yes. Yeah. And analogy. The analogy I use for people is the hard drive is like your storage cabinet. Yes. Or your filing cabinet. And it can, mm -hmm. the filing cabinet can store many pages of data. 
but you can't work. You don't work at your filing cabinet. You work on your disk. Your disk, if you can imagine, is your memory. Okay, terrific. It sits in the computer, yes. and what the computer does is it takes out 10 pages from the hard drive and puts it on the disk. Okay. And it's in the computer, and you work on those 10 pages. Yes. And if you go to page 11, the computer has to put a page back on the hard drive and get page 11. Okay. To make your computer go faster, you can have a bigger desk. Yes. So instead of a 10-page desk, we can have two modules in there, which is 20 pages. Yeah, okay. Or 30 pages. And so it'll take it from the hard drive into the memory, and then you see it come out through the video card onto your monitor. Right. That's a great analogy. So more memory, bigger desk. Yes. And you, they could also be three different desks. Couldn't that yeah, you be doing a different task on each of those desks? That's right. Yeah. If you pull the power out, yes. it's like opening the door on a windy day. All oh. the pages of data on your desk get blown out. They don't get put back in the filing cabinet. Oh. Which is how come your computer can crash and you can lose files and things like that. Okay. So this is why we need to say from time to time if we are intending to keep a copy. Yep. Yeah, because we change the updated information on the CPU on yeah. the RAM. And when we go save, it takes a copy of that and rewrites it back on the filing cabinet. And there it stays. So if the door does open, then that doesn't matter because it's all nicely protected that's right. inside. That's you lose this stuff, yeah, but that's all fine. Still it's it's nice and safe in there. Fantastic. That's great. I think that's about the um, the major parts that we major parts that we yeah. have anything to do with the fan. You've got a power supply in here. Oh yes. Basically, yes. this power supply is what converts the power from the wall socket into the computer power supplies. Yes. The computers have lots of different power requirements, so that's why there are so many cables here, not yeah. just one or two. Okay. Okay. Pretty much the power that you've got in here is no higher than your car battery. Jeez. <laughs> so you can put your hand in there, you won't get electrocuted. Well, you might blow the computer up, but you won't be electrocuted. You won't get zapped. Yep. All the dangerous voltage is inside this steel cage. Right. Okay, that's good to know, reassuring. <laughs> Here's one you prepared earlier. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and the steel cage contains all the high voltage. It's got a specialised cooling fan, but you can't. Well, you can't access it. You, yeah, can't, access yeah, it you can't stick your finger in anywhere. To and all the connections on this side, even though I know where they go, there's nothing on there that'll that's worse than your car battery. Okay. Oh, that's good. Won't start your car. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking that like the um, computers that sent our poor old original astronauts into space. I mean, that computer's smaller than yeah. than our car computer nowadays. Yeah, that's so, right. hmm, technology. Oh, that's great. Okay, thanks, Mike. I think that's probably all we need to look at. At least we now know what the physical parts look like. Yes. Okay, thanks Mike, thanks for showing us around our computer, that's great help. Bye everybody.